Joomla 4.1 was released a couple of weeks ago, and there's some really neat new options in there, including the ability to very easily create a child template. And that's what we're going to talk about today on OS Tips from OS Training. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. Thanks for joining me. And as I said, we're going to talk about child templates in Joomla 4.1. Now, template developers in Joomla have been doing this forever. I mean, Utheme, Joom Shaper, they all have their own way of doing this. Well, now it's built into Core, and it works really, really well. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm here on a brand new Joomla site. I've installed pretty much nothing except for, as you can see, Helix Ultimate from Joom Shaper and Utheme template. But here at the top, Cassiopeia, and we've got this new little icon here called Parent, and that's where the magic begins. I'm going to click on Details and Files, and we have a new button called Create Child Template. Now you'll notice the file structure has changed a little bit with this Joomla template and this update. Templates Cassiopeia holds all the HTML overrides and all the PHP, as well as the template details.xml. And then there's a folder called Media Templates Sites Cassiopeia for CSS images, JavaScript, and everything else. All right, let's create the child template. I'm going to click, give it a name, and create child template. It's that simple. Now let's take a look at the folder structure. Well, I'm still here in Cassiopeia, and so nothing's changed. If I click Close, and head over to my child template note. There's a new tag there called Child of Cassiopeia. I have templates Cassiopeia Child with a template details.xml. That's the only required file. And then under that same media template site folder, I now have a Cassiopeia Child folder where I can now update CSS images and JavaScript. Well, how do overrides work? Well, exactly the same as they did before. If I click Create Override, and I choose, say, the article news. Now it's in my child template, and there's the override that I can manage. Now let's take a look at what Joom Shaper and Utheme are doing. Will it work? Well, no, it doesn't. Utheme and Joom Shaper have their own way of doing things. In fact, over here at Joom Shaper's forum, they acknowledged the update and said we won't disappoint, and Joom Shaper never does. They're great. But then they said, well, hang on. We're thinking about it. It's probably not going to come very soon. The reason being, it will be a complete rewrite of how they manage child templates. There's a lot going on under the hood there. Over on Utheme, it's the same thing. They haven't updated yet. There's no indication that they're going to update anytime soon. They have their own way of doing it. So for now, it only works with Cassiopeia and any templates that have been updated to Joomla 4.1. So this is actually really great news. I mean, child templates have been around in WordPress and Drupal forever, and now Joomla has a built-in way of managing that as well. I would expect template developers to catch up, but as Joom Shaper said, it might be a while. This isn't a deal breaker for Joomla, of course, because they all have their own system. And typically, we stick with the templates that we love anyway. But it's good to know that the developer community in Joomla is pushing forward with some great new features in this release of Joomla and in releases to come. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name's Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We release a new video every week, and we'll see you next time.